Got all these ghost writers on your dick Well you got lucky with the algorithm All these e-girls I see you trying to get with them As a joke I could take a token Write a better song than you before I blow the smoke I just use auto-tune for stylistic reasons only It's a luxury you get when you have talent and you're not a phony Open your eyes Brian and take a look around That wasn't an Asian joke, you're just the saddest kid in town I feel like I'm watching a spoiled brat grow up But you're not growing up, you're just carelessly throwing up This content that sucks and I'm on the come up So keep your head on a swivel cause your fucking time is Making up Making fun of kids, hardly eloquent Rice gum, all your content is fucking shit You made this tracks relevant But you didn't write them All the ghost writers, you done found them Why don't you find another foozy tube to fake fight For some views, you hypocrite Listen, I don't like that girl Gabby either I think she's kind of a bitch But the point of it is If I'm not mistaken, you guys have the same size clip Both crying on Twitter like a couple of kids Learn how to handle your biz Two egomaniacs twisting all the facts Just a couple hacks Crying for attention in your Twitter mentions Both with ill intentions Now it's time for you to take a fucking laugh Make fun of kids, hardly eloquent Rice gum, all your content is fucking shit You made this tracks relevant But you didn't write them All the ghost writers, you done found them Why don't you find another boozy too To fake fight for some views, you hypocrite Making fun of kids, highly eloquent Rice gum, all your content is fucking shit You made this tracks relevant But you didn't write them All the ghost writers, you done found them Why don't you find another foozy tube To fake fight for some views, you hypocrite Listen, so thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that track. Uh, over 5.3 million subscribers, that guy. What a... Uh. Ah! What a treat. <laughs> but uh, I had a couple people ask me what my opinion was on the Rice Gum Gabby situation, right? And it's, it's a little bit of a dead meme at this point. But certain situations, I just don't really feel like I need to have an input on. In my opinion, it was... Uh, it was just kind of like two children crying on the internet. Uh, now, there is a little bit of seriousness when it comes to allegations uh, made against someone about being a, a woman beater. But this whole situation was just this fucking, like, two kids having a tantrum that blew up uh, online. Because that's what happens. This is what the market loves. We just love to consume bullshit drama. Uh, so I like to weigh in sometimes when it's something that uh, maybe weighs heavily on me, but this particular case just seemed a little bit like a sham. So instead, to, you know, to try and to try and capitalize and sneak a couple views on the side, I decided to make a, a track on it, which is just way more fun than sitting in this chair and crooning about my opinions on both of these two. They're both pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, one thing I have learned from Rice Gum, I don't know. Like he does this thing. Anytime someone's talking about him, he does like the, you know, like. This is like his thing. This is what a lot of YouTubers do, like Logan Paul, and they all have like millions of subscribers. So I think to end the video, I'm just going to be like fucking... Yes! <laughs> fucking get it! I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions about my production process or just anything in general. Love interacting with you guys down in the comments. And uh, do me a favor. In Oh, wait. Hold on a second. What's that? What's, what's that, Nigel? Is that, is that, it's a motherfucking outro, bitch!